So Gary Cornish proves to be a bum. Gary Cornish was that uh, unbeaten heavyweight that first lost his unbeaten record against Anthony Joshua, I, I believe about two years ago now. At the time, uh, it was a battle between undebe undefeated Anthony Joshua and Gary Cornish. A lot of people, I remember seeing a lot of people were giving Anthony Joshua credit because they looked at this as like a big deal for Anthony Joshua because Gary Cornish was undefeated. Well, Gary Cornish just proves that he was never he was really never that good to begin with because he just lost to Sam Sexton. Sam Sexton is a bum. Sam Sexton is a very low level guy. He's basically a journeyman slash bum. And Gary Cornish just lost to this guy. So that 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 just goes to show you the level Gary Cornish was always at. Going into the Anthony Joshua fight, he was basically a, a very low-level type of fighter. Uh, so that's why he got knocked out in 30 seconds against Anthony Joshua. It was because he was never that good to begin with. He was a bum. That's why Anthony Joshua just walked right through him. Had Anthony Joshua not fight Gary Cornish, Gary Cornish would have eventually just gone on to fight Sam Sexton, lost to Sam Sexton, and nobody would have ever heard of him again. He would have never gotten the Anthony Joshua fight. So, again, guys... I'm a realist. We have to we have to keep it real. Uh, Anthony Joshua is the truth. Um, this is not a knock on Anthony Joshua. He is the truth. He is the best heavyweight at the moment. But his victory over Gary Cornish really meant nothing because Gary Cornish got beat up by a bum like Sam Sexton. So that just goes to show you he was really never that good to begin with. So I think we can kind of like not give Anthony, I, I'm not going to give Anthony credit for beating Gary Cornish. I give him credit for beating guys like uh, Vladimir Klitschko. I'll give him credit for being correct pull it, but I'm not giving him credit for beating uh, Gary Cornish because like I said, he was not that good to begin with and that's all I have to say, McGregor Mount.